Dear friends, welcome to another video. This is Nick from Educates.tv and today we are going to build this Wi-Fi weather display which displays weather data from the Open Weather Map website. Without any further delay, let's get started. A few weeks ago I published a video about the impressive Wemos D1 board, which is an ESP8266 based board which resembles the Arduino Uno. Today we are going to build our first project with it, a weather display using this old LCD display shield I was using with Arduino Uno a long time ago. As you can see the display works fine with the Wemos D1 board. The project connects to my Wi-Fi network and then it downloads the weather data for my location from the Open Weather Map website and displays some of that data in the display. It downloads new data for my location every 10 minutes. It is a nice project to start with the ESP8266 chip. Let's see how to build it. The parts needed in order to build this project are these, a Wemos D1 board and a 16x2 LCD display shield. That's all. We only need two parts to build this project. The cost of the project is very low. It's $10. You can find links for both parts in the description of the video. It's really impressive that we can now build projects with Wi-Fi capabilities very easily and with such a low cost. All we have to do is to connect the parts together like this and load the code I provide. After a few seconds, the project will connect to the Wi-Fi network and it will get the data from the openweathermap.org website. So you can build this project in less than a minute. Great, let's now see the code of this project where the magic happens. The code of the project is really simple for a project like that. It needs less than 150 lines of code. We use two familiar libraries in this project, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library and the Liquid Crystal library for the display. We also need the Arduino JSON library which can be downloaded from this website. You can find the link for this library in the description of the video. This library is really a gem. The developer of this library, Benoit Blanchon, has put a huge amount of time and effort into developing this open source library. I happily donated a small amount of money to him because his library makes our life so much easier. I think that we have to help the developers who help the community move forward. Here is why we need the Arduino JSON library. When we request data from the openweathermap.org website, it returns back the data in JSON format. JSON is a new open data format. The Arduino JSON library makes it really easy to extract the data that we need from the reply of the server and save them in our own variables. Let's now take a look at the code. At first, we have to set the SSID and the password of our Wi-Fi network. Next, we have to enter the free API key from the openweathermap.org website. In order to create your own API key, you have to sign up in the website. Getting current weather data and forecast is free, but the website offers more options if you are willing to pay some money. Next, we have to find the ID of our location. Find your location and copy the ID which can be found in the URL of your location. Then enter your city's ID in the city ID variable. Now we are ready to move on. At first, we connect to the Wi-Fi network, then we request data from the server. We get a reply with the weather data in JSON format. Before sending the data to the JSON library, I manually delete some characters that were causing me problems. Then the JSON library takes over and we can easily save the data that we need in variables. We have to take a look at the structure of the JSON data that the Open Weather Map website replies to see how to get the data we are interested in. After we have saved the data in variables, all we have to do is to display them in the screen and wait for 10 minutes before requesting new data from the server. That's all. As always, you can find the code of the project in a link in the description of the video. As demonstrated by this project, it is now extremely easy and very inexpensive to build projects that can connect to the internet. With the use of the available hardware, we can build internet-connected devices in minutes. With the help of the available libraries, we can program our internet-connected devices in a matter of hours. It's amazing what a maker can achieve nowadays. 
I will work more on this project of course to add more functionality and a big color TFT display. So stay tuned, I would love to know your thoughts on this project, do you find it useful and how do you plan to improve it? Please post your comments or ideas in the comment section below. 